camera is balancing on seven things. Where in the world is Superwoman today? A LA! In a really big house, so I'm really sorry for the echo. Yeah. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And whether you're single or in a relationship or hello, hello, hello. Whether you're single or in a relationship or you're just like a unicorn that doesn't understand dating other human beings, I'm sure you can relate to this video because we've all had a crush at some point or another. We're doing the whole video like this? Maybe. Just deal. No, but for real, we've all had a crush. For example, I visited my crush today at Chipotle. That's right, so hot. I swear to God, I'm gonna put a ring on that rice bowl. And I feel like we all go through almost the same stages when it comes to crushes. It starts off with stage one, the discovery. Now this is a stage where you notice someone for the first time, and don't get it twisted. Maybe you've seen this person like a hundred times, but today you notice something a little extra special. Because you don't just see the person, no, no, no. You notice the person, that person catches your eye. Today you're like, yo, your booty looking right. In fact, their booty looking so right that they could never make a left turn without hitting a pedestrian. And I'm just like, damn, have you always been this fine or am I just getting more desperate? Either way, or look, I drop my phone. Pick it up slowly. I actually caught the phone with my other hand because I'm an athlete. This leads to stage two, research. All right, so now that you've noticed the booty, you gotta make sure that the booty is in fact damn fine. You gotta make sure it wasn't like bootyception, that you were like having a dream about a booty while having a dream about a booty while inside a dream of another booty. Because yo, I hate when that happens. So you pull out your best research tools, AKA Facebook and Instagram. You proceed to go through all their posts trying to decipher their personality. And then if you discover that they're actually way hotter than you thought, you will do everything to convince yourself that you two are compatible based on this very biased information you found on Instagram. Oh my god, oh my god, see? They posted a picture holding a basketball. I'm wearing a sports bra. We're meant to be. Whoa, holy crap, holy crap. Is this a cheesecake? That's, that's so weird, I eat food too. Okay, see, yeah, they have a dog. That's right, last week I fully ate a hot dog. Okay, this is really weird. You went to a charity event and I posted a Facebook status about being a nice person. And I always say, like I say all the time that I'm gonna sponsor a child. Okay, basically call us the American flag because our stars are so aligned. <sighs> this leads to stage three, show and tell. So what do you do when you like someone? You gain confirmation that the person is in fact hot and wonderful by seeking validation from your friends. And I know what you're thinking, okay, yeah, your friends are all like bitter and single, but yo, they know what they're talking about. Now keep in mind at this point, you might have never even spoken to your crush, but yo, irrelevant. Irre the status of your relationship doesn't matter. So you've never spoken. Pfft. Okay, the person lives across the world. <laughs> Okay, fine, so the person isn't actually a real person and they're a character from a movie. Whatever, technicalities. All that matters is that your friends also believe this person is very hot and spectacular. So what do you do? You show them your crush's Instagram. And I'm not just saying, let's be real, you're not gonna pass them the Instagram and have them scroll through it, okay? Like, you know there's a select like seven pictures where they look really good and you've memorized those pictures and you're gonna show them those select pictures, make your case and then proceed to the next stage. Once your friends approve, you proceed to stage four, daydreaming. Now from this point on, all songs, all movies, all novels are about you and your crush, okay? It's not the fault in our stars, it's there is no faults in my crush. Life of pie? Nah, it is my crush and I eat pie. Beauty and the Beast? Nah, okay, it's Beauty and the Beauty. The story of my crush and I, okay? Be our guest, be our guest to our wedding. Crazy in Love, hit single, performed by my crush and I. You call it a relationship emoji. I call it a selfie with my crush and I. And you start thinking like all these delusional things like, okay, I've never spoken to my crush, but I just like know if he was here right now, he would give like the best massages. And I'm so upset, but I bet you if my crush was here, they would know exactly what to say. You have been crazy. You've never even spoken to your crush. For all you know, your crush could be a mine. You're just like waiting there for him to say the perfect thing like, and then this happened and your crush is like, So eventually, you gotta proceed to stage five, small talk. So you wanna talk to your crush, but every time you try, you turn into a hot mess with zero confidence. It's like, when your crush is not around, you're all like, my name is Theon Greyjoy. The second you see your crush, you're like, Reek, my name Reek. What up, gay 
Game of Thrones reference. So you try to find excuses to talk to your crush, okay? You act clueless. Hey, I'm so sorry to bug you. Yeah, uh, do you know where the TV is by any chance? Oh, okay. do you have gum? Happy birthday. Thanks so much. Thanks. Well, one second. Hey, sorry, do you know the date? I don't know nothing. I'm stupid. Hello. Yo, Chase, can you just check if the camera's recording? Yeah, I don't remember if I pressed record. Shut up, stop. It is? Okay, cool. Thank you. This leads to stage six, the finale, which can go one of two ways. Number one, you realize your crush also likes your booty and you live happily ever after. Or number two, which is much more common, you realize you have huge trust issues, commitment issues, daddy issues, or just general bad breath. And you die alone. But that's okay because you can die with me on my world tour. What up, Segway? That's right, if you haven't bought tickets for my North American tour yet, what are you doing? All the dates are listed in the description below and VIP packages are still available, which means we can meet and greet and we don't have to die alone. So you can grab those at www.lilysingtour.com. Hey. Also, tomorrow I am sending out my monthly newsletter and I totally revamped it. It's gonna be so super cool. It's gonna be advice from Paramjeet and Manjeet, Q and A's, shout outs, contests, a whole bunch of awesome sauce stuff. So if you've not signed up for my free newsletter yet, what are you doing? Teamsuper.ca, it's free. You put your email address, I send you personal emails. Bloody great. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment below, and let me know who your crush is right now. I won't tell anybody. You can check out my last video, it is right there. It is my parents explaining to you how babies are born. That's right, you can check out my vlogs right there. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, Superwoman, that is a wrap. And zoom! Simi, 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 simi,